Amanda, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just a really quick upload showing you how I am near whatever I'm writing on my iPad onto a Zoom call for students to follow along. And I realized that I forgot to upload this a while back, so here it is. So I received a lot of questions regarding how I was able to show my iPad and write on my iPad and then have my students see that on Zoom. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. First, I'm using my iPad and I have the Zoom app as well as the GoodNotes app. The GoodNotes app is not a free app, but it's totally worth it. So I'm already connected on Zoom, as you can see, and I am the host here on my computer, and then I'm gonna be using my iPad. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my iPad, go to Zoom, and then I'm gonna press share screen. This is what I see on my screen as a host. And then this is what I see on my iPad. So all you're going to do is you're going to start broadcasting on Zoom. You can either choose to have the microphone on or off. I left it on and then I started broadcasting. So now whatever is on my iPad is also on the Zoom meeting. So then I just pressed the home button. And as you can see, it's literally the same thing. So then you open up the GoodNotes app and whatever I have on my iPad, you can see on the computer. And you can upload different things onto this app that you can write on. So you just go to the waffle right here. Go to the end of the presentation if you already have one. Press add. And you can add a blank page. You can add an image. You can scan a document, take a photo or import. I usually import from my google drive you have different options to um what to import from so you have your icloud drive your ipad itself um, google drive downloads from your imac if you have one different other different folders from your notes it just depends so you have imported what you wanted onto your goodnotes app you can start writing on it so you have different options here you have a pen you have different sizes, you have an eraser, you have a highlighter, you can add shapes. You can move text as well. You can add pictures. You even have a laser pointer, so you have this. So if you want students to be reading here or the you want their attention here you can do that what i do is i just basically go through the presentation on my ipad and then we just fill out certain things together so we did this worksheet together and um, yeah super cool super easy and a lot more engaging for example we did a picture walk today and i had students tell me what they noticed about the pictures and I was able to kind of highlight what they told me. So for example, for this picture, one student could tell me like, oh, they're going into the basement. So I would go ahead and circle. Or they would tell me there's a lot of dark clouds now. Um, there's someone carrying a picnic basket. I did want to add before I sign off that you can also do this with just a regular notes app on your iPad or your phone. That way you don't have to purchase a good notes app, but I totally think it's still worth it. thing I did want to add is that it's really really helpful to have a stylus pen when doing this approach. I personally have the Apple pen but it's kind of pricey for what it is especially if you're just going to be using it for distance learning for this time being. Um, I know that Samsung has a dupe for it that's a lot cheaper I think it's like $45 and then Logitech also has a dupe for it. 
So I'm going to link down below different dupes for the Apple Pen that are a lot cheaper. I had someone on my DMs saying that they were having trouble um, with the pages moving on GoodNotes. And I'm assuming that that person was not using a stylus pen because that happened to me this week. <laughs> This week, I had finished teaching one of my classes, and then I took a little break, and I was logging back in to teach my next class, and I was looking for my Apple Pen, and I couldn't find it anywhere, so I figured, you know what? It's fine. I'll disconnect it from my iPad and just use my finger, and it was not working. So I'm saying that it's going to be super helpful to have a stylus pen if you're using this method. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please feel free to DM me on Instagram. It's a lot easier for me to get back to you on Instagram than it is on a YouTube comment. So that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.